Hello, welcome. Um, it is twelve p.m. I'm making this video. The like this is the seventeenth time I'm trying to make this video, and maybe this time the cameras would fucking work. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm just going to roll the intro. Hopefully, nothing will break on this new. PC. Roll the intro. Hello, my name is Alright, so yeah, uh explanation. Um I owe you one. So I got my new PC for you guys that know uh it's a uh, Asus uh, ROG G thirty-five X fucking 3090 that is vertically mounted so it just takes up all the fucking pci express slots and the ryzen 9 and you'll see why i'm pissed off and a ryzen fucking 9 5900x and all that shit it's fucking amazing but the cameras are not working with it let's see if the other cam is working i'm probably gonna break something now is it working okay is it working still jesus fucking christ is still working so okay while it's working, let's try to make a fucking video. Um, so, uh, first off, let's talk about the channel. Shit, I, I, I'm not prepared because I didn't expect that it's going to fucking work. Okay, channel an analytics. Channel, yes. This, guys, th this, is, this is amazing. And I love you guys. And you guys are fucking amazing. And uh, uh, I just... The one guy just unsubscribed. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't care. Fuck that guy, right? Um, no. Uh, see you soon, I guess. Um, main cam. There we go. So, uh, thank you for uh, all the uh, attention, I guess. And subscribes. You, you guys are, like, uh, the community around this channel is fucking amazing. Um, also, um, thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Because, like, I couldn't buy the camera, some lights and all that without you guys. If you want to become one and if you want to support the channel and, um, like keep me funded so i can make better videos even though this video is probably gonna be trash because this is the fucking 17th attempt of me trying to make this video but hopefully hopefully at some point everything is gonna work and i will not need to buy another fucking pc just to record myself and stream and and, and all that so um if you want to support the channel there's gonna be a link down in the description of the video and you can click on it and in the end of the video there's a thumbnail you can click on it and yeah you, you're gonna go to the patreon there's also a join button uh but like uh youtube takes 30 percent, and then my country takes even more so use it if you want to there's a super something on the side uh, during premieres you can super like super comment whatever i don't know so it's it's the same youtube takes 30 percent because fuck us i guess uh so yeah um the main topic i want to talk about in uh this video is gonna be this and this is like uh the next two patches so let me know this is the wrong scene. Okay, this is the right scene, but you can't see shit, right? So I'm going to keep myself here for a second. And let's talk about the thing here. So the thing here, DNA texture updates. That that's going to that's going to add a watery bit on the underside of your eye. Like hands down. I have no idea how we played this game or any games before this because now i understand that it was literally fucking un unplayable without uh, the watery bit yeah you can you can say you can say that uh, you can say you can see that i'm uh, a bit frustrated and uh yeah i am I, I am very frustrated because like yeah you'll see so i mean you already know all of this but i'll make a point at the ending of the video as always we're gonna get two locations or uh, a location and like some variations of the locations that we already have it's hospitals like we don't really care about that we're gonna spawn there and just leave immediately if you spawn on maria pure of heart you fucked up you're gonna uh, set your spawn on everest then and, and you will not spawn on maria pure of heart 
anymore ever now coffee shop vendor now let's talk about that i have no idea if the cams are still working okay hello so uh there the, there are people that are saying that this is amazing and that this is really actually like actually really good because um at some point in star at some point at star in star citizen uh the bartenders are gonna be the shit and they're gonna be the mission givers um we don't have that guys uh do we need everything like server meshing and everything to be fucking completed so we can actually get that do we need all the ships in the game to be like released to get more missions and mission givers like i have no idea how this has anything to do with the bartender okay maybe some um, animations and all that but dudes we need mission givers not coffee shop vendors next thing mining fucking gadgets i don't know yeah the cam is working okay mining fucking gadgets like why do we need those the only reason why we would need those if is like if they made mining harder because currently we don't fucking need those ship to ship refueling uh it is not working in the evo Cadi. i'm not breaking any ndas uh that's like in the patch release notes uh they said not to try it out and that's it selling items to shops okay let's talk about this now selling items to shops knowing cag this is gonna be trash uh, and here's why so first off uh, there's no reason to have the same price uh, for like a used uh, item and then a item that you just bought so if you buy let's say you buy a gun for 1000 AUAC uh, you will sell that item probably for 500 or knowing CAG even less because you're gonna find it you're gonna kill a guy and you're gonna take his gun and then you're gonna uh, sell it right so since CAG doesn't want you to get any money in the game uh, and they just want you to pay uh, for ships with real money i guess this is gonna be as profitable as selling those like uh, fruits and uh, like doing a f like fruit market shit so yeah i i believe that this is gonna be trash and like yeah change my mind i'm here change my mind uh hopefully it's not gonna be but knowing cag it is gonna be now the next thing is gonna be uh two vehicles that are tentative i'm gonna put myself here now uh so tentative rsi scorpius it's gonna be overpowered as fuck uh if they release it uh i'm pretty sure that they're gonna release uh hall a and like whatever like it's it's a piece of ship and then core tech a river a river a river a single fucking river with trees in it because yeah th that's the best that we can do after 11 years of, of development and 500 fucking million dollars <sighs> not that we really need rivers fine I, I don't fucking care about rivers but dude like if you're doing it just fucking do it right don't give us a tier zero river like it's it's fucking jesus now let's see the next thing that we're gonna have in the next patch because uh there's more so next patch 318 gameplay wise cargo system refactor now let's talk about that for a second so cargo system refactor means that you're gonna need to like uh get all of the boxes if, if you're doing like if you're hauling or if you're just trying to transfer your shit like your refined shit from the refinery and sell it somewhere you will need to use like a, a multi-tool uh with like a tractor beam or uh, j like do it by hand or use the tractor beam on your ship to load it onto your ship so you could actually like deliver it to the other uh, and we don't even know we don't like the, the the main thing is we don't even fucking know if we need to like pull the shit out of our ship when we get to the location where we want to sell we don't know that because they haven't told us maybe i have no idea like how can i do but 
This means that uh, cargo hauling is going to be really, really bad now. And here is why. Uh, knowing CAG, again, hopefully I'm wrong, but knowing CAG, uh, the prices are going to be still the same and you're going to earn basically like next to nothing. And on top of that, all of that cargo, because it's physical now, uh, you're going to get like hijacked and you're going to get pirated every now and then. Even my org is considering piracy now, even though like we're lawful, but there's nothing else for us to do anymore. And then we're just gonna like attack a cargo hauler or a miner and take their shit for no fucking reason. I mean, yeah, because we're gonna earn money, of course. But that just means that cargo hauling is gonna be even less profitable because you're gonna spend hours and hours trying to get your shit into your ship and hours and hours probably uh, trying to get the shit out of your ship. And in the meantime, in that like brief like 15 to 20 minutes where you're gonna transport the shit you're gonna get attacked and you're gonna get fucking raped and you're gonna get pirated and either ransomed uh to get the ship back or uh destroyed and uh the pirates are gonna collect all, all of your uh, cargo boxes so uh like this is not something from my point of view if they don't uh, give us more money for all the inconvenience that we got to go through, uh, this is not going to be profitable and uh, nobody's going to do it. Because like risk, reward, but like high risk, low rewards, not fucking working. Simple as that. So next thing is going to be salvage. 2018, they have released the Reclaimer. They said that Reclaimer is going to come with the Salvage. Uh, then they said the Salvage is not really done yet and that they're going to release it in the next patch and then in the next patch and then in the next patch and then they just stopped like talking about it. And after a while, uh, they forgot. And yeah, uh, they, like 2022, they are releasing Salvage. Hopefully, this time, they will do salvage. But the thing is, um, knowing CAG, they're going to do lasers. Because it's lasers everything. Uh, tractor beam laser, fucking uh, medical gun laser, laser pew pew lasers. All the lasers, you just have lasers. And I'm, like, for a month now, I'm trying to find uh, the quote from, like, uh, Star Citizen Live Q&A where uh, a developer got asked, like, why the fuck are you using lasers still? Like, why don't you do anything else? And he said, because it's easy. And that's an issue. That is an issue. Like, fucking 11 years in development, $500 million, and we're doing easy. Uh, like, it's easier to make watery bits in your eyes than to make actual game loops. It's easier to do that than to do server meshing, which, like, they're postponing since I don't know when. Salvage was announced in 2012, uh, during the Kickstarter. Uh, fucking server meshing was supposed to be out in, like, 2018-19, and then there was, like, 2020, end of 2020, beginning of 2021, and then it's 2022 now, and, like... For those of you that are following the channel, like, th that is nothing new now. You shouldn't fucking trust them. But hopefully we will get salvage now and hopefully it will not be a fucking, l like, a laser pointed at a hull of the ship and you will, like, strip. Like, if I see another fucking laser in this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit. So, um... Next thing that we're gonna get is gonna be the Great Cat Multi Tool Salvage Attachment. So that just shows that uh, they are actually uh, releasing salvage, right? Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. But why am I talking about all of this? So I'm talking about all of this uh, purely because this is the first six months of this year. Um. What, what the fuck, CAG? Like, after the best year of funding ever, and after the best 
January and the best fucking February, and it's probably going to be the best March, you give us this. So what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to wait uh, and play other games? Because I'm sure as fuck I'm going to play other games. I'm going to do some videos on, uh, I don't know, PvP ships and all that, but I, I'm not, I'm like, there's no fucking point for me to play anything else but Arena Commander so I can be, get better at uh, fighting. Th like, there's no fucking point in playing the game right now. And I know that some people are just gonna hop in and check out, like, the, the next patch and then the next patch. And what? In 319, what are we gonna get in 319? I would, like, I would love to ask those questions to, like, people that, that, actually know stuff because i don't know shit i'm just a gamer i'm a musician i'm a fucking youtuber that's making content on a contentless game so when are we gonna get some actual fucking content cag I, I i i really don't understand it i like the reason why i'm making this video now uh instead of like making it in january uh is because like i hoped that after they call us noise, after all of that, I hoped that they would like switch a bit and just give us some unexpected things. And one of the unexpected things is actually uh, the uh, desync fix, even though we don't know if it actually works or not. But uh, again, knowing CAG, I'm pretty sure that I know what they're gonna do. Even though they didn't do anything, <laughs> Even though I have no idea what they've done, I'm already pissed off. Because uh, I think that they're gonna um, introduce even more server smoothing. Because uh, they didn't like say anything uh, about like uh, giving us uh, a better tick rate. Because we are currently running at like 4 to 16 tick rate. And they're aiming at 30. And 30 is not enough for a competitive game uh, like Star Citizen could be. Uh, 30 is not nearly enough. Like uh, CSGO is running at 64 ticks per second. Fucking uh, Valorant is running at 128 uh, ticks per second. Star Citizen, first off, it's not locked at all. It is a variable tick rate, and it's going from 4 to like 16, maybe 18 sometimes. But it's never 30. And like, what I'm trying to say is that they should at least try to get it to 30. And then we can say, okay this is not working even on a 30 tick rate and i'm pretty sure it's not gonna work even like even on 30 tick rate because if you go to arena commander and you go into dual mode with two people on a fucking server you're still gonna have positional desync and for you guys again for you guys that don't know what positional desync is that's when you fight another guy so let's say that the silent raider from uh battlestar galactica is the asperia blade now let's say that uh, this is an arrow even though it's a, a viper mark ii from uh battlestar galactica so you're you're this guy and you're fighting this guy and you're shooting this guy and he's looking at nothing. Maybe you're even behind him shooting him and he's shooting at nothing and then you explode. And that is what positional desync basically is. It, like, yeah, there, there's more to it, but this is like the, the most uh, simple explanation. So why is that an issue? Um, obviously it's an issue for PVP, but why is smoothing an issue if they actually introduce more server smoothing? Server smoothing, I played uh, Squad, uh, the game, for I don't know how long, since the alpha, and they had a lot of smoothing, and uh, the way they did it is that, like, uh, the other objects, players, and everything that's moving around you is not going to move unless you, you look at it. So if they're behind you, you're not going to see them, therefore uh, they're not going to move and they're just going to be stationary. You look at them and you can just see them just like zoom by from like, they just pass you in an instant. It, it is fixed since then, like it's not working like that anymore. But that's what server smoothing could do in this game. And why is this bad? Because like, if you look at your enemy and instead of him being uh, like, like this and you're shooting him here, but he's shooting there and hitting you, uh, you're going to see him doing some 
other shit that doesn't make any sense. And then instead of him like uh, rubber banding and teleporting to the side, he will actually just like zoom to the side or forward or whatever, which will look like the guy is cheating and using like speed hacks or whatever. So yeah, I think that uh, serious mo if they actually do serious mooding, I think that could be even worse. Like it has a potential to be even worse unless they do something else. And hopefully they're going to do something else and hopefully it's going to be amazing. And hopefully this whole segment of this video is pointless and I, I didn't have to do like, I, I didn't have to say anything about it. So um, in the end, uh, what is the point of the video? The point of the video is that we have like nothing to hope for in the next few patches. And when I say in the next few patches, it's this one, the, the third month of the year. It's the next one, the sixth month of the year. And then people are going to say, yeah, but server meshing. Okay, if you think that server meshing is going to come, and if you think that Pyro is done, and that Nyx is done, because I know that people are actually saying that like Nyx and Pyro are, are done, they're just waiting for server meshing. Dudes, Planet Stack... Those guys have did the planets. Now you gotta populate the planets. Now you gotta make the stations. Now you gotta make the trash piles that are fucking amazing. Now you gotta do other shit to make Pyro alive. Or, well, ali alive-ish, because like, Stanton is not fucking alive. <laughs> so yeah, Stanton, even Stanton is not ready, but you think that like Pyro is gonna be ready and that Nyx is ready. I don't know, like, that, like, there's no point and you should lose all the hope that you have in this game for this year entirely. And I know that this is nothing new to you guys, because like, you've been following my channel. What the fuck is my dog doing? Lola? What are you doing? She took a handkerchief off a table and then she was trying to kill herself, I guess? She has fucking... She has fucking toys. The fuck is wrong with that dog? Anyway, I was saying that uh, I know if you follow this channel, you already know all this. Uh, morphologists also said this. A bunch of like YouTubers said this, but there's a lot of fucking YouTubers that are still making uh, videos on Star Citizen that are just like, oh dude, this is gonna be the best year and here's why. No, this is gonna be the worst year and like, here's why. Like you can see why. What the fuck are you talking about? I know of YouTubers that are making fucking uh, videos uh, on like uh, server meshing that's gonna be released this year, every fucking year now. And like, dude, that's dishonest. I mean, people are accusing me for uh, hopping onto a bad bandwagon uh, and attacking Star Citizen uh, just to get some revenue. You want me to show you my revenue? Revenue for, because uh, like I monetized uh, the channel on 31st uh, of December. December, five bucks, 85 bucks, 137 bucks. And then estimated revenue is somewhere around 137 bucks. Do you think that I'm actually doing this for the fucking revenue? Please do tell me, can I live off this money? Am I really doing this for the revenue? The fuck is wrong with you? And then you have people that have like 15,000 subscribers, 50,000, 60,000 subscribers uh, uh, that are uh, being honest and I'm being dishonest. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Also, yeah, I wanted to say, and on Patreon, 28% of my patrons are actually from Russia and they are like a band from Swift and... Therefore, I'm not gonna get money. I mean, I don't care, to be honest. Uh, dudes, like, thank you for trying to send me money. Uh, it's probably uh, better for you guys to, like, not spend that much money so you can actually live, because, yeah, the, the fucking sanctions, all of that. But I don't want to talk about po politics anymore. But, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm affected by those. 
yeah, sorry guys. I, I know that a bunch of people are unsubscribed because of that, but yeah, I am affected and we all are affected by the politics. So we got to talk about it at least uh, like uh, a small amount, like uh, from time to time. So uh, what I'm saying here is fuck star citizen. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do some videos on it, but fuck dude, like, uh, what what should we hope for this year like i like new players great i'm gonna do videos for new players and i still love uh, star citizen but dude like as soon as a new kid shows up on the fucking block that promises the things that star citizen uh, is doing or can't do or is trying to do dude we are like you know that you're migrating we are all going to migrate to that fucking community and to that uh, game. So fuck Star Citizen, fuck everything, fuck life. And uh, yeah, play Uno, dude. Like Uno is fucking amazing when you play, play with your uh, friends. Like most of the fucking orgs are dead. If the orgs are dead, just like hop into an, uh, your org channel and just call them to fucking play something else with you. Play Uno with people. Play fucking, I don't know, Risk or, or whatever. Play something. Just don't like lose your contacts because like fucking uh, Chris is gonna do squad on 42 uh, with our money that we paid for Star Citizen and then we gotta pay for Squadron 42 even though we shouldn't because we gave him the fucking money to make the game but yeah just yeah just try to try to chill and uh, maybe in six months from now maybe we're gonna get something probably not but uh, yeah, that is it for today. I, like, hopefully the audio is not broken. Because, like, I think that the cams actually worked, which is fucking amazing. I'm not gonna shut down this PC error or the cams. Because, like, it fucking worked. Anyway, I'm the, I don't want to prolong this anymore. Thank you for watching. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, and, uh, yeah, kisses. Mwah. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. And goodbye, guys. Uh, I hope next week I'm going to post more videos uh, from inside the game because I have some actual frames now, which is amazing. I, I like the, the main issue was the cameras. So, yeah. Bye. Mwah.